Black body radiation, the idea that all objects release energy in the form of electromagnetic waves, could not be explained for a very long time. Now, Maxwell's theory on electromagnetism predicted that these electromagnetic waves are emitted as a result of the oscillations of the electric charges found inside atoms and molecules within our object. So basically, when the electrons found within the atom oscillate from position A to position B, those oscillations release electromagnetic waves. So electromagnetic radiation is emitted by the oscillations of electrons around the nucleus. And that's because our electrons are subatomic particles that carry charge. So when an electron moves, electric charge moves with it and that produces the electromagnetic radiation. Now although this theory explained where the electromagnetic radiation actually came from within the object, it did not entirely fit with the experimental results that were obtained at that time. So it could not explain the observed spectrum of colors that were produced as a result of this emission of radiation. So basically, it could not explain why a certain object emitted one color while another object emitted light with a different color. Now, the person that explained this phenomenon is Max Planck. Max Planck basically used the data and the observations obtained from experiments at that time to formulate what became known as Planck's radiation formula, which is given by the following equation. So, this equation basically tells us the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation as a function of the wavelength at some particular absolute temperature, where the absolute temperature is the temperature of the object that is emitting that electromagnetic radiation. So, the intensity is equal to 2 pi multiplied by h multiplied by c squared multiplied by lambda to negative fifth power divided by e to the h c divided by lambda k times t minus 1. Now h became known as Planck's constant. It's a value that was obtained experimentally and is equal to 6.626 times 10 to negative 34 joules multiplied by seconds. Now c is the speed of light. Lambda is the wavelength of the particular wave that we're discussing. K is the Boltzmann constant and T is our temperature. Now, to actually explain the meaning behind this equation, to explain the theory of this equation, Max Planck had to make a very important assumption about energy. Now, before this equation was introduced, it was believed that energy existed on a continuous spectrum of numbers. So, energy can be any number whatsoever. However, what Max Planck assumed is that energy exists as a discrete quantity. So energy is quantized and he said that there exists a minimum quantity of energy for any frequency of oscillation. And this is given by the following equation labeled as 1. In fact, if energy is greater than this minimum value, it can only be greater by a factor that is equal to some positive integer. So, once again, to explain this equation, Planck make the radical assumption that energy exists in this quantities. More specifically, he said that energy associated with the oscillations of electrons around the atoms is quantized. It exists in specific discrete quantities. It is not continuous. So that means that each discrete quantity of energy exists as a whole number, as a whole number multiple 
of the minimum energy. Now, the equation given by equation 1 gives us the minimum quantity of energy given by E for some specific frequency of oscillation. So E is the minimum energy of oscillation with a specific frequency F. So H is Planck's constant and F is the frequency of our oscillation. Now, this equation basically tells us that if our oscillation energy is greater than the minimum, then it must exist as a whole number multiple of this quantity. So E is equal to N multiplied by H multiplied by F where n is our multiple number. So n is equal to a positive integer. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And n is known as the quantum number. Now, this idea became known as Planck's quantum hypothesis, and it essentially led to quantum mechanics. So, to better understand this, let's take a look at the following graph. Let's suppose the y-axis is the energy. Now, this line represents n equals 1. So, the quantum number is 1, and this line represents a quantum number of 2. Now, this energy is given for some specific frequency given by f. Now, what the quantum theory tells us, what Planck's quantum hypothesis tells us is energy cannot exist in between n equals 1 and n equals 2. The energy can only be at either n equals 1 or n equals 2 or some higher number, for example, n equals 3, 4, 5. Energy cannot be in between, for example, energy cannot exist where n is 1.5 or 1.6. So once again, this theory basically helped explain black body radiation.